here, right? Jesus Christ. I begin with a, a brief uh, reading that, uh, that Bonnie gave me. A sick man turned to his doctor as he was preparing to leave the examination room and said, Doctor, I'm afraid to die. Tell me what lies on the other side. Very quietly, the doctor said, I do not know. The patient asked, you don't know? You're a Christian man. Do you not know what's on the other side? The doctor was holding the handle of the door, <clears throat> on the other side of which came a sound of scratching and whining. When he opened the door, a dog sprang into the room and leaped on him in eager gladness. Turning to the patient, the doctor said, did you notice my dog? He's never been in this room. He didn't know what was inside. He, he knew nothing except that his master was here, and when the door opened, he sprang in without fear. I know little of what's on the other side of death, but I do know this. My master is there, and that is enough. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting places of all your people. Keep our brother early, in whose life we now lay to rest in the company of your saints. And in the last, O oh God, raise him up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace, one through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Paul. I'm telling you a mystery. We shall not die, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the blink of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised and we shall be changed. For this fragile body must be made everlasting and this mortal body must become immortal. When the fragile becomes everlasting and the mortal becomes immortal, then shall come to pass. The saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Death, where is your victory? Where is your sting? The sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Sure and certain hope for the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother early, and commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and grant him peace. Rest eternal, grant him, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. And together, let us pray the prayer that our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For all of us who gather here, the God of life who raised our Lord Jesus from the dead, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do God's will, working in you that which is good in God's sight. Be blessed by the presence of God, the peace of Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, this day and every day. Amen.